Hey friends, it's Jessie. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new style video. I have filmed these in the past, but I just never got around to uploading them. Today I'm going to be doing a Will I Buy It style video. This video style was popularized and created by Miss Samantha March here on YouTube. I will link her channel in the description below. She's an absolute angel, so you should definitely go check her out. But basically, I'm just going to be talking about the new makeup releases, whether or not I'm planning on picking them up or skipping over them, and just kind of chatting about makeup. I feel like it'd be fun. I I don't feel like I have a lot of friends in real life that I can talk to about this kind of stuff and I imagine if you're on this video you love makeup just as much as I do. Speaking of makeup, if you are a fan of all things beauty and makeup, I highly suggest you hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on any of my uploads because I myself am a fellow beauty and makeup lover. Also I just finished filming my video where I'm trying out all sorts of new fun products from Rem Beauty. We have eyeshadow, we have lipstick, mascara, lashes, all the things. So if that is something that interests you, I will um, be linking that in the description box below. I believe it's coming out right after this one. I'm going to be looking at the Trend Mood 1 Instagram page on my iPad here. We're just going to be going through the releases. I will link Trend Mood's page in the description below as well. But let's get into it. All right, the first product pulled up is from ColourPop. And if you know anything about me, you know I'm a hoe for ColourPop and Disney collabs. And this is the Disney Winnie the Pooh and ColourPop collab. I am so excited about this one. There are so many fun products. Let me actually move over so I can put some pictures up. So first up, we have the Sweet As Can Be eyeshadow palette. It looks like it's gonna be retailing for $18. I really like that this palette has the, um, it looks like hexagon pans. It just showed it really quickly, but it looks like we have lots of neutrals, a pop of like a grungy warm blue, a grungy warm green. Uh, we have three Luxe lipsticks, um, which retail for $10 each, or you can get the set for $27. Um, sorry, they're Luxe Gloss, Just Taste of Honey Luxe Gloss Trio. Those look beautiful as well. It looks like just some very basic neutral colors. It looks almost like a gold. Uh, it's a real and not like a post, so I can't like pause it and see very well. Um, it looks like we have a medium brown and then a dark brown in the gloss as well. And I think that would be way cute. Uh, three Super Shock Cheek products. Again, $10 each or $27 for the set. It looks like a champagne highlighter, a gold highlighter, um, and then what looks like it could be a highlighter on deeper complexions or a shimmery bronzer, blush, uh, however you feel fit to use that. That looks super cute as well. And then the Honey Pot Lip Scrub and Mask Duo, which retail for $16 each, and it looks like they smell just like honey. I am going to be picking this one up. It is not a shock to anybody that I am going to be picking this collection up. I love the ColourPop collabs. Winnie the Pooh is just so fun. And I just, I love it. I feel like a lot of times these collabs don't really do justice to uh, whatever it is that the collaborator is. Uh, so like the Avatar ColourPop collection, I don't feel like it represented the Avatar uh, franchise as well as it could have, but Winnie the Pooh, really cute. I think I will be getting this one. NYX is coming out with, actually, NYX came out with their cult fave Butter Gloss in clear. This one I will be passing on. I do already have some clear glosses, but the Butter Gloss from NYX is absolutely to die for. These are very affordable. It's only $5 for this. It's a non-sticky shine gloss formula. Very, very good quality. If you are looking for an affordable uh, gloss, this will be a really good option for you. Moving along, this looks really interesting. This is the Flower Eyeshadow and Blush Palette from Base Blue Cosmetics. I've never heard of Base Blue Cosmetics, but this has beautiful tulip uh, embossing. It looks like all the shades are like the flowers of tulips. Um, personally, this isn't really my vibe. I don't love how bulky it looks. Uh, and the swatches also just seem very, very light. It looks like a pastel palette and for those I just feel like I like punchier pastels if that makes sense. It says in the description five shades from nude warm tone to bright colorful red but the palette has 10 shades in it so I don't know if it's like five eyeshadows five cheek products. Uh, it retails for $42. Um, 
it's a really pretty palette. Like I love the idea of it. I just, for me personally in my collection and my preferences, this just doesn't seem like it would be uh, something I would use much. But it is interesting that it's from a new brand. It doesn't look like they have an Instagram page. At least they're not tagged. Um, but I am interested to see what more they come out with in the future. We have another ColourPop collection, my heart. This one actually almost got me as well. This one is uh, the Let's Roll collection by ColourPop. It looks like it's like 80s roller skates inspired. We have a 10-pan uh, eyeshadow palette. It looks like five pastel mattes and five light shimmers. The palette actually... The palette almost got me. It looks kind of like the Candy Castle palette that ColourPop did a couple years ago, but it looks like the better version of that. That makes me sound so mean. I don't mean it in a mean way. Uh, I really like this. It's taken me some talking out of. I love it. I know I have pastels and colors in my collection that I love already, so logistically, I don't feel like I would need this, but the packaging is so fun. The mattes are so fun. The shimmers I feel like are okay. I feel like they're, they've are they all been done before. But one of those is a super shock shimmer and I love the super shock shades. Oh, I'm gonna like, oh, it's taking so much to shock me out of it. If this were to go on sale, which actually, when did this come out? This was posted four days ago. I think it came out by the time I'm uploading this, it'll be about a week. Um, if it's on sale, I might actually pick this up with the uh, Winnie the Pooh collection. It looks like there's also three Super Shock blushes. The blushes look amazing. There is a hot magenta, um, a peachy orange, and then like a really light, light orange tangerine. Those all look gorgeous. And honestly, those types of colors are so fun in the spring for blush. Uh, there's two Super Shock duos for $10 each. So it looks like one of the duos is more of like a light mint and like a clear base shimmer. And then the other duo is more of a pink and a periwinkle purple. Now these Super Shocks, I feel like aren't super unique colors. They remind me a lot of the Disney Princess Super Shock collection they did a while back. Um, so I feel like I could pass on those. There's also two face crystal sets for $7 each. Again, not my personal preference. I've tried to get into those and I just can't be bothered, honestly. Um, but these would be really good for festival season. Three So Juicy Plumping Glosses for $8 each. Now, I like the plumping gloss formula. I like that they're very sheer and that they're just very wearable for everybody. I love to wear these in the summer. I have a couple from the Lizzie McGuire collection that I actually wore all summer last year, and they're a lot of fun. Um, I like that they're plumping, but they're not like super painful plumping. I know that there's some out there like Buxom or like the Too Faced Extreme Plump that can be kind of painful sometimes when you wear them. Uh, but I like that these are just a nice subtle plump and they're always pretty colors. So I would consider maybe like one of the So Juicies. I don't need any, but I would consider if they were on sale. The Soul Dry Shimmering Oil, which retails for $10. So this is like a lavender color. It's a light shimmering dry oil. I talked about this in my face product declutter. I have one of these that came with the ColourPop Valentine's Day collection from this past year. And I've tried it a little bit. I'm not really sure how to use it, honestly. I feel kind of lame. If I could figure out how to use it, I love the color of this one. And I feel like for summer, the way I've been using them at least is I put it like on my collarbones, maybe a little bit on my neck and like my decolletage area. Um, and I like it. I think it's fun, like under sundresses or like tank tops. I could see myself picking this one up. There's also the Shimmering Powder Mini. I'm gonna assume that that is like this super shock highlighter. It's like this lavender super shock highlighter, like the body highlighters. This is actually one of the items that I definitely wanna pick up if it is still in stock. Uh, this is what I'm most interested in from this collection, which is that lavender like body highlighter. I think that is beautiful. And then of course they have the pricing for the sets. You can get the So Juicy uh, gloss set for $21, the Super Shock duo sets for $18, and the full collection for $110. For that one, I don't think I would pick up the whole collection. I do feel like I would pick up the Soul Body highlighter for sure, possibly the shimmer oil, 
um, the Super Shock cheek products, the blushes, like the Super Shock blushes, and possibly the palette. I don't really feel the need to get the Super Shock duos, the crystals, or the glosses, or anything like that. Um, and the palette, even, I don't think I need. I think I could do without it. Uh, but those Super Shock cheek products, I need those in my life, without a doubt. We have something new from Kylie Skin. It is the lip oil set. It looks like it's limited edition. A non-sticky formula, hydrating, comforting, and leaves lips looking smooth and naturally plumped. It includes three juicy new flavors, passion fruit, pomegranate, and strawberry. These... Again, I feel like I have so many ColourPop lip products. I have the ColourPop lip oils already. I have a couple of the shades. Um, I think they came out like in their neon collection, I want to say. This just doesn't seem like something I would gravitate towards. It looks like just the promo photo looks delicious. It makes me think of those like, did anyone else have those like lip glosses as a kid that tasted like strawberry, like like just very fake strawberry and they were just so creamy and like delicious. That's what this makes me think of. It's like the adult version of that and I kind of want it, but I know I'm not gonna use it. So I'm gonna have to pass on that one. This is something I'm interested in talking about. It is from Huda Beauty, the Color Block Obsessions palettes. So we have two different palettes. It looks like one is orange and purples and one is like blue greens. I really am interested in these. I've been watching reviews on them. If I were to pick one up, I think the color story of the blue green one intrigues me more, but I feel like I would wear the orange and purple one more. So this is one that I want to see if they come to Sephora and I can go and swatch them and decide then. Uh, I've never ordered from Huda Beauty's website and honestly I'm just kind of weird about that. I just normally prefer to buy through Sephora or Ulta. I could see myself getting at least one of these. Uh, it looks like they retail for $29 each, um, and each of them comes with some new formulas, including a cake liner, which is like the water-activated eyeliners. I'm very, very interested in these palettes. I love the packaging. I feel like it's very, like, 90s to me. It's just screaming, like, 90s. For some reason, I want to say Saved by the Bell. I know that this has nothing to do with Saved by the Bell, but it's making me think of that, so... I would, I would be interested to see this in person before picking it up. I have a confession to make, a very, very hard confession. And this year, I have really gotten into luxury makeup. Last year was the first year I actually had adult money to spend. And this year, I have a surplus of adult money to spend. And I find myself wanting to treat myself to more expensive things. And that includes luxury makeup. And Dior just came out with a new bronzer. Everything about this makes me want it. The packaging looks stunning. I could see myself putting this on my vanity. The embossing of the bronzer itself, gorgeous. I could see myself reaching for this. Uh, it's so beautiful. It retails for $48 and I want it. It's infused powder with pansy flower, which helps the skin preserve its natural hydration with a buttery soft formula that blends like a dream whether you're contouring or simply warming up the complexion. I want this. I want it. I don't know if it'll come to Sephora. If it comes to Sephora, I am picking this up without a doubt. It is beautiful. I have nothing else I want to say on this. <laughs> Everyone is trying to talk me out of it. All my coworkers, my friends trying to talk me out of it. I don't need a $50 bronzer, but it is beautiful because it is beautiful, I need it. So that one I think I might pick up if it comes to Sephora. This is interesting. This I've started to see videos circulating around YouTube on. It is the Dragon Fruit Collection from Cleona. Is that how you say it? Cleona? Cleona Cosmetics. Um, we have the Dragon Fruit Eyeshadow Palette, which retails for $59.40 US or $74.99 Canadian. Um, it has 13 shades, six different formulas. Uh, it looks like there's one glitter type, uh, iridescent multi-chrome, vibrant multi-chrome, one of those, two sparkle shadows, two duochromes, three metallics, and four velvet satins. The color story of this, I'm not going to lie, is gorgeous. I love the packaging. I love the neon pink purple component. The shades are beautiful. I could not see myself buying this though because I don't like all shimmer palettes and I know that you can use it in conjunction with other things. 
but just at this particular moment in time, I just, oh, I don't need it. I don't need it. Can you see me trying to talk myself out of this? This bottom, <laughs> the bottom left yellow, like neon yellow shade literally does stuff to my heart. And I kind of need it just for that shade. But if I cover up that shade, I feel like I don't need the other ones. I don't need to spend $50 for one bright yellow. This collection also has a fruity lacquer, the Fruit Lacquer Nail Polish, which retails for $11.15 uh, US or $13.99 Canadian. And it looks like there's also highlighters. Two highlighters, Tropico, a pale light pink multi-chrome highlighter, uh, and Patea, which is a mid-tone cool pink multi-chrome highlighter. Those both retail for $17.60 US or $21.99 Canadian. There's a cosmetic bag, which retails for $13.60 US, $16.99 Canadian. And the brush set, it's a six-piece brush set, five eye brushes, and one highlighter brush. This uh, set retails for $31.90 US or $39.99 Canadian. Palette. I feel like I could do without. I'm not gonna lie though, those brushes, I have a thing for brushes. It's very unfortunate. They have these beautiful like neon green tips, the pink handles. I'm gonna say I'm not gonna get this, but please don't be shocked if in my next video I'm using these brushes. That's all I gotta say. We have a collection from Wet n Wild and Care Bears. This one actually was announced a little while ago, but I'm just kind of scrolling back a little bit. Let's see, this is the uh, Care Bears and Wet n Wild collab. The entire collection retails for $84.99. Uh, we have the Brighten Your Day Primer Serum, the Let Your Light Shine Highlighter, and Live Laugh Hug Bronzer. Do What You Love Blush. <laughs> the Caring Counts Eye and Face Palette. The Eye and Face palette actually looks really interesting. I'm kind of intrigued on that one. Uh, Get Through the Night Setting Spray, My Lucky Day Lashes, and Wish Big Lashes. The Friendship Goals Eyelash Curler and Mascara Set. Think Happy Thoughts and Good Vibes Only Artificial Nails. Cheer Up Your Gem Face Mask, Stand Out and Shine, and Free to Shine Glitter Gels, Shimmer Lip Glosses. Um, sharing is Caring Dual Ended Brush Set. That's intriguing. Always Care A Lot Color Changing Makeup Sponge. Care Package Five Piece Makeup Sponge Set. Resting Bare Face Cleansing Balm. Pick Me Up Hydrating Face Mist. Make It Sweet Lip Scrub. Play Sleep and Repeat Lip Mask. Give Me TLC Lip Care Kit and handle with care makeup bag. I'm not gonna do the math and add all of these up, but everything added up together definitely is over $84.99. So I would say if you are a Care Bears fan or even just a Wet n Wild fan, $84.99 for everything you're getting in this collection is actually a pretty good deal, just judging off of the prices. Um, I am very interested in the palette uh, and the brushes. I feel like nothing else in this collection is screaming my name. The face jewels, again, would be great for festival season, but that's not really my vibe. The artificial nails, I already do my acrylics um, religiously, so I would have no use for those. Uh, the sponge actually might be interesting. The face, like the serums and stuff, I have super sensitive skin, and so I literally, when I find what works for my skin, I don't steer from it. I am pretty much exclusively a first aid beauty girl right now. But this collection does look interesting. I think the makeup bag is cute. It does make me feel a lot of nostalgia. I used to have a huge Care Bears collection growing up, and I loved the Care Bears movies and show and everything. So for the nostalgia factor, I can appreciate it. I just don't think it is... Um, I don't know. I just don't feel like it's something I need in my collection. I don't think I'd go out of my way to try and find this one. So I am going to say a, a pass on this one for now. New from Lunar Beauty, we have the Nude Prism Collection. This includes the eyeshadow palette. It looks like it's an all nude palette retailing for $48. The blush palette, which retails for $35 and three lip oils for $18 each. So just starting off right away, the lip oils I'm gonna have to pass on. My lipstick drawer is insanely cramped and I have no room for that kind of stuff anymore. Anyway, the palette is gorgeous. I love the palette, I think it's super pretty. But between this palette, like my Soft Glam palette from ABH, and I think even my Jeffree Star Orgy palette, like 
I don't really feel like I need this palette. It's really pretty and I can appreciate it, but I just don't feel like it fulfills a purpose in my collection. The blushes, that lavender blush in the top middle, lavender seems to be the vibe this video. I really like the lavender blush. I would like to have bought it as a single, maybe that one, and then the bottom right of the blush palette, kind of that cherry red, but I don't feel like I need the palette either. So I will be saying pass on this collection. I do really enjoy it though, and I feel like it's a great addition to his line. And I look forward to seeing other people's reviews and looks with that palette as well. The Supreme Mauves by Artist Couture. It is a 12 pan eyeshadow palette featuring a central array of modern mobs and nudes retailing for $45. It looks like it's limited edition. And am I the only one that when I looked at this, I saw the white peach palette from Too Faced? It literally looks like the white peach palette from Too Faced from literally like three years ago. I'm not a huge fan of this. I haven't tried anything from Artist Couture. Actually, that's not true. I think I might have tried something from them. No, that is, that is true. I had one loose highlighter from them that I did declutter. It's actually on my Poshmark right now. I hadn't even tried it yet. It doesn't scream to me. What does scream to me is the new Sigma New Mod Collection. The new mod collection from Sigma Beauty. We have the eyeshadow palette retailing for $49. The Modern Glam brush set retailing for $94. Uh, this brush set has five brushes, a pink velvet beauty bag, um, and the brushes have a metallic pink handle with gold like glitter ombre at the bottom. It is gorgeous. Uh, lip glosses for $20 in Passionate, um, in the shade Passionate, so maybe there's only one lip gloss. And the liquid lipstick in New Mod for $20, or you can purchase the whole collection for $146. Again, this is one of those cases that if you want one or two of these items, you honestly might as well buy the whole collection because you're saving so much money. I actually really like Sigma's formula. I've only tried one palette from them and it is the Cinderella collab that they did last summer. And I'm a huge fan. I still reach for that palette frequently. And this palette, she gets me, bro. She gets me. I think I will be picking this one up and possibly doing a review of it. I really like the shades. You have all those pretty berry tones and the mauve tones. Berries are my favorite shades on myself and the shimmers look phenomenal. I am interested in the brushes as well. Maybe not so much the lip products. I have tried Sigma's lip products and they're not bad. So you know what, maybe if I were to pick this up, I would consider getting the full set, but I really like this collection. It's beautiful. It's so good. I love it. It's just so pretty. The only reason I haven't ordered it yet is because we are going to be out of town for a couple weeks and I would hate for it to show up and then have it just sitting outside my door for two weeks. I don't trust people. I don't trust people like that. I know I live in Utah, but I don't trust people to not steal my stuff. So um, I want to pick this one up. I am going to wait until we are in California to order it though. So that way it's here when I get back. We have the Blurring Balm Powder for Face and Eyes by Danessa Myricks. It is a texture reducing, coverage boosting, blurring balm. Enhances oils throughout the day. Oh, balances oils. Sorry, not enhances. We don't want to enhance oil. It balances oils throughout the day while maintaining hydration. This is really interesting. It can be used as a primer, highlight contour, worn alone. It's supposed to blur your texture and fine lines, sheer coverage. Um, it's supposed to be very soft, it goes on like, uh, like a balm, but sets as powder. So it's kind of like a cream to powder formula. This personally does not scream to me. Uh, it doesn't have a price listed yet. I haven't tried Danessa Myricks. I don't even know where you can buy Danessa Myricks. It looks pretty interesting. I could see this being very interesting if you like just that no makeup makeup look, like the very sheer, very natural kind of dewy skin. I feel like this might be your vibe. And last but not least, the last thing I wanna talk about so this video isn't crazy long, the new Fluff and Hold Laminating Brow Wax by Too Faced. I'm actually very interested in this. I have tried the Brow Freeze by Anastasia, I think it's called, like the Brow Freeze. The It's like in a, in a gel pot, like gold top. It came out around the time that their um, white highlighter came out. Not the Amreezy, but the one that's like similar to Amreezy. You know what I'm talking about? Like iced out or something? I can't even remember. And my brows are so dang stubborn, it does not hold, like at all. Laminating liquid wax formula that adds volume, texture, and total control to give you fluffy, perfectly polished brows with just the right amount of hold, retailing for $25. Uh, it looks like it's just a clear wax. I... I'm intrigued. I really am. I could see myself picking this one up when it goes to Sephora or Ulta. 
I am very interested in this brow wax and seeing how that holds. So with that, my friends, I think that is all we have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me. If I missed any products, let me know what you're interested in picking up. I'd love to see what everybody is kind of getting their hands on right now. I'm so glad you joined me for this little chat and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye loves.